You always do this, bro. You never stand on business, ever. Just like I walked away when you tried to play ping pong with me. You're like, why aren't you playing ping pong with me? Because you're always scared. I literally have boxing gloves. I have boxing gloves. Let's go. We're talking shot. Let's go. I literally will box you right now. But you won't box. That's what I'm saying. But you won't box. Is what I'm saying. Like I got gloves. I got gloves. Why though? Difference, you idiot. What? I'll go one hit. Jack Doherty is the biggest joke of the West. Like, holy. There is no way that bro just pushed his friends in front of him so that they could fight him and not him. And then he's going to use the argument, well, look at how tall this guy is. There's a huge height difference. Like, maybe don't talk shit and this shit wouldn't happen. Like, what a sad, pathetic human being, honestly. But besides that, W man's for doing this. He definitely deserved to be pressed again. All right, hello guys. Welcome back to another video. So I was not expecting to have to make another video on Jack Doherty, but... But hey, look, here we are. So just for a little bit of context here, this video is going to be two parts because originally I started recording this video when I heard that Jack Doherty got banned from Kick, And then randomly out of the blue, I got recommended this video from Lenny Miller. And it's regarding a drama that happened a night or two ago on one of Jack Doherty's streams. And this dude essentially humbled Jack Doherty. And I also wanted to include this guy is six foot four inches. Like that's how tall this guy is. So he's a really big guy and he decided to go find Jack Doherty and challenge him to a fight so you're definitely not gonna want to miss this so first we're gonna be going over that video and then a little bit later we're gonna be talking about how he got banned on kick once again by the way so stay tuned because this might be a long one so this video is called i fought jack doherty at six minutes long and before we get into that video apparently how this all started and i don't have all the details but as far as i'm aware this started because jack doherty was saying some things on his stream about lenny and as far as i'm aware lenny is just like a small creator he's not like any big influence or anything like that and apparently he lives in the same area as Jack Doherty so Lenny decided to come back to Jack Doherty's place and he was somehow able to get in and he challenged Jack Doherty to a fight just take a look you had hella trash to talk on stream let's go let's go what let's go you had hella talk trash to talk on stream now let's go you try you talk trash on the stream last night let's go i don't care and you think it you think it's funny you won't say it to my face but you'll say it on the vod huh because i don't want to give you a clip like you're trying to do right now what do you mean now if you're a man stand on business stand on business you're not standing on business what's the point of giving you a clip bro what do you mean yeah walk away you always do this bro you never stand on business ever just like i walked away when you tried to play ping pong with me like why aren't you playing ping pong with me because you're always scared bro first of all we just got to talk about like the height difference here like i'm sorry man but this is this is insane no way bro was dissing this guy right here no way this guy is a behemoth it's actually insane like this guy he looks jacked too like i'll give it to him and what's crazy about this is that i mean we all know what's gonna happen here jack doherty is not gonna fight this guy i mean look at the difference here and we know that jack doherty cannot fight like literally anyone in their mom or even their grandma could take on jack doherty like bro is just not cut out for fighting so i don't know why he runs his mouth so much because then things like this happen you have like this six foot four guy trying to fight you because you were running your mouth like it's actually insane if you know you can't fucking fight people then maybe you should just shut the fuck up now just for anybody who's wondering what's about to happen no they don't actually fight because you know what jack does like he usually does in any situation where somebody wants to fight him yeah this is what happens i literally have boxing gloves i, I have boxing gloves let's go we're talking shot let's go i literally will box you right now but you won't box. That's what I'm saying. You just hit the fuck out of McKinley. Bro, get the fuck out of here. I mean, we're really going to blame this on this guy, this Lenny guy. We're really going to blame it on him. I mean, if we play this back, you can clearly see that Jack throws the boxing glove at him first. Like, Jack is the one who started it. So we're really going to complain. Oh, you hit McKinley. Well, maybe Jack shouldn't do shit like this. Maybe he shouldn't be running his mouth or inviting these people over. Because, yes, apparently Jack Doherty invited this guy over. He claims that he did not invite this guy over, but proof is literally shown in this video, as you guys can see right here and then what i find to be really funny is that jack pushes his friends in front of this guy so that they can fight for him essentially like jack will never get over being a huge fucking pussy like fight your own fucking battles if you're gonna talk all this shit fight on your own without your friends or your bodyguards in front of you like it's pathetic it really is and i can't wait for the day that this guy is alone with nobody around to protect him so that he can quickly find out because he fucking sucks like genuinely this group is just 
full of pathetic fucking human beings. And I really don't know what else to say about this. You stupid fucking bitch! Hitting fucking females! You stupid fucking bitch! Don't hey, disrespect hey, Adam. Don't disrespect Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I got my stuff in the room. You stupid fucking uh, bitch! Master. Hitting fucking females! You stupid fucking I'm waiting for my camera. Yeah, he's a stupid fucking bitch because, you know, he threw his boxing glove and it happened to hit McKinley. And this probably wouldn't have happened in the first place if Jack didn't throw it at him initially to start this. So whose fault really is it? Let alone that this guy was invited to the house. So, you know, there was no problem with him being there, apparently. I was cool with you. Until I found out you threw something at McKinley. Why, why'd you throw something at him? I didn't mean to. I threw that Jack. Why would you throw something at him? What, what do you have against him? I don't got anything against him. You were cool until you wanted to throw something at him. Why'd you throw something at him? Throw something at, him? Throw something at, him? at Jack? Why? What's your reason? I just, what's your fucking I, reason? I just, what's your reason? What's your fucking reason? I just never got like what's the talking reason? talking trash on stream, but not in person, like saying on business. Fuck, because I don't want to give I swear to God, I hate this fucking bitch so much. She's so annoying. Like if Jack didn't throw his boxing glove, he wouldn't have thrown his at McKinley on accident. Like Jack Doherty's OnlyFans girls will go to fucking war for him. It's insane. And they will blame everybody but him for the things that he did, the things that he started. Like this wouldn't have happened yet again. Again, I'm gonna say it again. This wouldn't have fucking happened if Jack wasn't running his mouth and if Jack didn't throw his boxing glove at this guy. Like, I love how it's Lenny's fault now, apparently. All talking, but no bark or no bite. By the way, she just added me on Snapchat, by the way, guys. Yeah, man, if I were you, Lenny, I would just leave. These guys are animals. I know you wanted to fight, but I don't know if you want to fight these wild animals because that's truly what these guys are. But yeah, no, apparently after this too, Lenny was looking for his camera and apparently was thrown into the pool by Jack Doherty or somebody around him. And am I really surprised to hear that? No, not at all. Like I said, wild animals, put them in a cage, put them all in cages, dude. Now that's pretty much it for Lenny's video. If you want to go check it out, you can search it up easily just search up Lenny Miller and then you can go take a look at it if you would like to. But besides that whole situation and Jack Doherty getting humbled again, there was another situation that I wanted to talk about that is regarding Jack Doherty because it looks like Jack Doherty has been banned. I know, what a surprise. He got banned again on Kick. I mean, if you know anything about Kick, this ban is probably going to be for like, I don't even know, like a day or something, maybe two days, maybe three. But yes, guys, he in fact did get banned again. And I just figured I would make a little short video for you guys today on this Sunday and uh, just go over this this. If there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, make sure you leave a comment down below. Now, if you guys don't know who Jack Doherty is, uh, you live under a rock, first of all. But besides making fun of you for not knowing who he is, I do have a playlist down below with all my videos on Jack Doherty. If you would like to, you can take some time out of your day and watch those, or at least the first ones, because the first ones, I explain who he is and what he does. We react to some of his content, but just to sum it up a little bit here, Jack Doherty is a streamer over on Kick, and I would like to say that he does a lot of IRL streaming, because I wouldn't say that he's like the most traditional IRL streamer who goes to like different places and does IRL streams like interacting with people and businesses and stuff like that like sort of like Ice Poseidon but he's not really like your Aiden Rosses or your Cheesers or like your Sneakos who just sit in front of the computer no he actually has like a camera guy who follows him around and uh you know they go to gatherings they go to parties and stuff like that and they do that on stream and I'll be honest it definitely is not my cup of tea it's like some content for younger individuals but at the same time I wouldn't really recommend the younger generation watch that sort of content because Jack Doherty is the furthest thing from being a role model. Now recently what Jack Doherty did and the reason why we're talking about him and you know he got banned is because somebody was doxxed on Jack's stream in which this actually happened when Jack was not in the room and the cameraman for whatever reason was away from Jack and, and a female that was in the room decided to pull out her phone and dox this other small kick streamer who goes by the name of Sam Bond and who has around 5,000 followers at least before he got banned. And essentially this female showed his number on stream and which indeed that is doxing. Here's a little clip. Oh yeah, we'll get some right now. No. Yeah. Oh. What? She showed it like that. Showed what? Showed what? Oh my fuck, dude. No. 
Now, after this, of course, Jack Doherty did get banned from Kick, and people started reporting on it, as you guys can see right here. And as this started happening, Jack Doherty came to Twitter and he said this I didn't dox anyone on my stream. This is a false ban. Fix your platform. And then he tags the owner of Kick and Kick Streaming, to no avail, by the way. Because honestly, in my opinion, if somebody is doxed on your stream, on your account, on something that you own, and it's against the platform's rules, you should be held responsible for showing that on your stream, regardless if it was you or if it was somebody else or whatnot. Because even though you weren't in the room and you weren't holding the camera and you weren't showing the phone at the camera for everybody to see, you still should have been doing a way better job at making sure that people weren't just like using your platform and doxing other people. Like, I don't think it was Jack's fault for the doxing, but him being irresponsible is what led up to his account getting banned. So how about this? Next time, be responsible with your platform and don't let just random people show their phones to the screen and dox other people. Now, apparently after this, Jack Doherty got word that apparently the Sam Bond guy who had his phone number leaked on Jack's stream had done the same thing in one of his streams and didn't get banned for it. So he posted about it and guess what happened? Sam Bond also got banned for doxing. So yeah, it looks like we got two idiots who got banned for doing something pretty stupid. But anyways, after this ban happened to Sam, this is what he had to say. Nine hours ago from recording this video, he said, Jack and his Indian bots mass reported me because he's insecure and fluffs his hair every 4.46 seconds. <laughs> like, what kind of drugs is this guy on, honestly? Like, I'm asking the question right now. Somebody, please tell me in the comment section down below what you believe this guy is on, because I have no idea what I just read. But anyways, next tweet. Kick's bias towards shit these days is fucking insane. I swear to God, I can't, bro. What bias is there? You literally dox somebody on your stream and you got banned for it. How is that a bias? That's just Kick moderating. And I mean, honestly, if I were you, I would not be complaining about Kick's moderation or saying that they're biased or something. Because if you get banned for doxing, you'll literally be back in like three days or whatever time. But it's not like it would be like a permanent ban or something crazy like they would give you over here if you dox somebody. Like if you dox somebody over here on YouTube, you get a strike and it's three strikes and you're out, meaning your channel would get terminated if you get three strikes and there's no getting it back from there. And on Twitch, as far as I'm aware, I'm not really sure if they do like permanent bans for this over on Twitch, but I really would not want to find out. So, I mean, I would say that you're pretty lucky and I don't see how Kick has a bias. I mean, am I just being weird for having this opinion on thinking that Kick is not being biased here? Like, how is Kick being biased? These guys will say the most insane bullshit when they get banned, thinking that it's going to help their case. Like, just wait out the ban. You're on Kick. Don't cry about it. Now, if it was YouTube or Twitch or something like that, I would totally understand it. But this, no, not at all. But anyways, with that all being said, I think I'm going to wrap up the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you happen to enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because doing so helps promote the video more in the algorithm so more people will see it. Thank you guys so much for being a member to the channel. Your support really means the world to me and I really do appreciate it. My name is Brion and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Shit it all out.